I'm on the practice worksheet for section 6-7. This is actually going to act as part of the lesson on how to use the distance formula. So remember, distance formula means subtract your x's, square them, subtract your y's, square them, then add them and take the square root. That'll tell you how far apart these two points are, a to b. So here's one way to do it. We could take, this is what the formula says now, you take your x sub 2 minus your x sub 1, 2 minus negative 1, square it. Then do y sub 2 minus y sub 1, negative 5 minus positive 5, square it. We're going to type this in and get an answer. Now, the point of this video is to show you that if I did 2 minus negative 1 and then negative 5 minus 5, that's the same thing as if I would reverse them. So a lot of times people ask you which way should you subtract them? It's really up to you. If you want to do negative 1 minus 2, you can start that way, but then you got to do positive 5 minus negative 5. Okay, so I'm going to type both of these in, and you should get the same exact answer because it doesn't matter. How far is it from A to B? Whatever it is, that's the same distance from B to A. Okay, so we're going to prove that right now. So we're going to take the square root of our x's, 2 minus negative 1 squared. We're going to add that to our y values, minus 5, negative 5, minus 5 squared. Gives you this answer, 10.44. Now we're going to do the same exact thing using the same exact ordered pairs, except we're going to switch them. Instead of going from b to a, how far is it from a to b? Well, let's see. We're going to do negative 1 minus 2 squared plus 5 minus negative 5 squared. See how you get the same answer? It doesn't matter which way you do it, A to B or B to A. It's going to give you the same exact answer. We're going to call this 10.44.